She's around, nothing else matters If I don't someone else will Wanna love you girl, wanna love you girl Wanna love you girl, wanna love you Wanna love you girl, wanna love you girl Wanna love you girl, wanna love you Good morning, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today's video is going to be my first trip as a commuter. <laughs> really my first week as a commuter. I work pretty much every day this week. Today is Monday and I am going on my first trip out of my new base which is now Boston. So I'm no longer Atlanta based. If you guys missed last week's video you guys would have um, heard that I did a little like weekend trip to Miami and then did a sit down portion of that video where I explained my new base transfer and what that means and what happens next. So if you guys want a little more detail on that, then head back to the last video and catch yourself up and then come back here. All right, so it's at 1022 right now a.m. I'm currently in Miami still. All of my family left this morning, but luckily I am staying in a hotel that is pretty close to the ho to the airport so close that they have a airport shuttle. I was like, okay, well, there's no point in me going home when I can literally just commute straight from Miami to Boston. I have a trip today, which is a pretty decent trip. Um, it signs in at 6 p.m. So whatever happens, I need to be at the airport before 6 p.m. Um, my trip is a two day trip and I lay over in Atlanta. So when I get to Boston, I have to get to work first, right? So I'm going to take the flight from Miami to Boston, which is a which is about three and a half hours um and then when i get there i'll sign in at six i report and do one leg which is from boston to atlanta we lay over for like 14 hours and then tomorrow we'll do atlanta back to boston and then we're done this is a pretty good first trip i also get to lay over at home so when i land in atlanta tonight dimitri's gonna come and pick me up from the airport um i only so i packed two bags here to miami i packed my big suitcase which housed all of my clothes and stuff for Miami for like the family vacation portion but then I also packed my smaller weekend bag um my tote bags on top of it but you can see the smaller suitcase here at the bottom and I literally only put like my uniform in it a change of clothes and some pajamas and now my toiletry bag and then I have my my tote bag and stuff so I am good to go and I was gonna lug everything to Boston just in the event of like a diversion or just you never know what could happen but I just was like I think I'll be okay let me just bring what I need and so Dimitri took the rest of my stuff they we drove to Miami but my brother and Dimitri drove back by themselves and I'm gonna fly out for work anywho let me head downstairs it's 10 24 the van is 10 30 to the airport so we're gonna go we're gonna go your girl is ready to go I've been having so much anxiety y'all I can't even I don't even know what it is. Maybe it was like my family leaving today and me being all by myself or I don't know, or just like, this is so new and so big. I'm gonna talk and scan the room for things that if we possibly left, but this is so new and so big that I don't know. I just think mentally this is something that I wanted to maybe start from home, you know, commute from the crib and not necessarily be traveling and then commute to work on my first day in Boston. So, so yeah, I don't know. I just feel really nervous, but I know I'll be okay. I know that this Boston move will be good for me. And so many flight attendants tried to talk me out of it or tried to tell me like, oh, commuting is horrible, blah, blah, blah. But I rebuke that. I rebuke that right now. I'm gonna have a wonderful and life-changing experience in Boston and it's gonna make me so happy and be so good for me and my family. I'm claiming that right now. Thank you. Have a good one. Made it to my gate. It's right behind me, but it's a little early, so we don't start boarding until like 11.35. And right now, mind bear, I'm not going to Atlanta, I'm going to Boston. So I am like, there's like a Facebook group for like Boston commuters and I'm just browsing it. And so I like, I don't even know where the lounge is. Like, I don't know anything. My plan when I get there, because I'm gonna get there pretty early, like 
3.30 and my sign is not till 6. So I will have a couple of hours to kind of gather my bearings and get myself together. So my plan was to kind of walk around the airport and just figure things out for myself, get acclimated with the airport and stuff like that and to find a lounge. So I'm in this Facebook group right now, just like putting, searching questions in the search bar in the group that have already been answered before. Um, just trying to ease my anxiety, you know? Cause it's new. I, mean, I can I can work the Atlanta airport like the back of my hand with my eyes closed. I can get you where you need to go. But like, baby, I don't know nothing about Boston, so. We should see. I appreciate everybody's small compliance in the boarding door. We want to get y'all on time. I believe that I go down here for the lounge. So I'm gonna make my way there now. <sighs> this is just so different. I don't even know what to think. I forgot to tell y'all earlier too that I changed so I could just be comfortable for the flight. Cause it was like three hours. Um, I don't know if I'll keep my hair in this claw clip or put it in a bun, but it's, I'm, only, I'm only working one flight, so yeah, so I'm pretty sure that I go down this escalator and the lounge is somewhere this way. I know for a fact it's not where we just landed, so it's okay. I will get used to this airport in no time. Oh, friends. Things are gonna be very different here in Boston. <laughs> I just left the lounge and Boston's lounge, once I got down here, I was like, oh yeah, okay, I remember. I was like, oh yeah, okay, I remember how to get through here or whatever, whatever. It's just so rare that I come into Boston's airport and especially their flood attendant lounge. So yeah, it's super packed in there. Not only was it packed, but it was also small. And I decided to take the time to ask questions. Um, pretty much everybody in there was freaking new, new flight attendants because Boston is super junior base. Everybody is like only a few months in and everyone was just kind of telling me about basically how they don't turn the lights off in the lounge anymore. Um, you, can, you can't sleep in the sleep room. It closes after a certain time. on the plane and I don't know if you guys are familiar with this aircraft or if I even ever showed this aircraft this is actually the same aircraft that I took to Rome uh, beginning of June this is a 330 900 series so major difference from Atlanta is your girl is freaking most senior out here that is unheard of so I was able to pick my seat first today so I chose four right which means I'm the galley person, so do all that good setting up and stuff. Um, 
but if you guys haven't seen my galley prep video make sure you guys check that out but honestly like the 330s out of atlanta don't look this cute this one's nice this one even got overhead bin lighting and stuff oh, fancy but we are pretty full and there's lots to do in the back so i'm gonna get started and i'll see you guys when we land in atlanta Good morning it's the next day um the next morning and um, i landed so it's definitely taking some mental getting used to because on the way home last night i'm thinking oh okay i'm done i can go home blah 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 but no i'm still on a rotation so i can't just like not show up to work i'm in the middle of a rotation i'm technically only on a layover i just get to come home because i live here so um we depart today at 1 45 so i need to be at the aircraft i want to be at the aircraft like 12 30 so um, but I actually have to be there at 12.45. It's 9, maybe like 9.10 right now. I do need to run one errand before I leave. I need to run to Vitamin Shop Speedy Pack um, because I start a three-day trip tomorrow. So my two-day rotation is done today. Once we land in Boston, that's it. Um, but I'm going to sleep in Boston tonight because I have a like a 6 a.m. report tomorrow for a three-day trip. And there is no early, early, early flight that can get me to Boston before 6 a.m. tomorrow. So I pretty much have to stay in Boston tonight. I'm still contemplating whether or not I'll be getting a hotel or if I'm going to stay in the airport. It's pretty early, but I figured on my way to Vitamin Shop, I was going to call the hotel and see if they would offer me a crew rate. Because um, I would feel more comfortable being in a hotel rather than sleeping in the lounge because we do i'm gonna get done pretty early today so um early being like four o'clock so but um pack wise i did get i bought some um packing cubes yesterday if you guys watch raven elise then you have seen these packing cubes before originally i wasn't gonna get these because i didn't like the print on them but they actually ended up being the ones with the most packing cubes facial wipes these are my bags from the weekend i need to empty them out and we're gonna go ahead and pack this one up for um my three-day trip and yeah i'm gonna speed through this i'm not gonna film it because i am in a rush but i'll show you guys the end result so, yeah yeah everything's working god 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 gonna do it every time i got a i never get a venti y'all know me i never finished coffee but today they didn't have cold brew so i just got a iced coffee with um oat milk and salted caramel cold foam on top so let me do a little taste test and then i'm gonna put y'all down so i can focus on the road mm. yum first boston trip is done it completed i had a whole bunch of hoopla earlier like trying to get to my gate and get back into the airport it was so much it's not even worth it's really not worth telling the story but just know anywho i am done with that rotation and i didn't go home because my sign in tomorrow i start a new three-day trip tomorrow and my sign is at like 6 35 in the morning and there's no flight it wouldn't make sense to take a flight home because i would have to take a flight tonight there's no morning flight that'll get me here by 6 a.m so i have to stay here and my only two options were get a hotel or stay in the lounge so i got myself a hotel so i'm staying fairly close to the airport and you know most hotels have a crew rate for crew members who have to purchase their own hotels because there's tons of commuters um and this hotel had a spot at a crew rate so i took it and i just I'm, I'm glad i did so that i could start fresh tomorrow and not really sleep in the lounge or whatever here's a little updated um like suitcase view remember earlier i showed you guys i got those packing cubes um and everything was able to fit so organized like i like to think about in the event of if i did have to sleep in the lounge and if i needed to get stuff out of my bag i don't want like all of my bare clothing to just be out and all over the place and everybody can see my stuff so that is the original thought 
and why I got the packing cubes. So this is what it looks like. My toiletry bag is here. And then I did put my spare uniform. My spare uniform isn't in a bag. Um, I did just like kind of roll it up. I did have to squeeze my shoes in right here, but I do have two pairs of shoes here, some slides and some sandals. This pouch houses all of my loungewear and workout clothes, um, just so that I can be like appropriate but comfortable in the lounge if I needed to sleep, as well as, you know, obviously workout clothes so I can go to the gym. And then I have right beside that pajamas. So I have two different types of pajamas, some silk ones and then some like really cozy, comfy ones. And then under that, is my like layover clothes so i packed all of my layover clothes in here and they fit just fine and then under this is a blanket so if i needed to sleep in the lounge i have something big and comfortable um and you know think about me being in the lounge right i would need to take all of my clothes out to get to my blanket i'm not embarrassed or not really embarrassed just like all my stuff on front street you know what i mean i could just literally take out my little packing cubes grab my blanket and then put all my packing cubes back rather than every single piece of clothing one by one so yeah actually i need to get out my slides here so yeah i wasn't too stressed about my workout shoes being right here because they're not really really touching anything so yeah that's a little update um these are bathing suits and stuff and then inside i have always bring a purse because if you want to walk around your layover you just have somewhere to put your things this is my undergarments in here even put that in a bag and then this is like emergency um period kit like if my period starts and you know i'm not expecting it or something you know sometimes it just happens you think you're going have a couple days and it don't you know you know what i'm saying you know how it goes always have emergency just in case because you never know um especially being a commuter i might thought i was going to be home now i'm not and now i'm sol because i don't have anything so yeah that is the updated packing cube i need to be up by five uh the shuttle is going to take me to the airport at six so and it's 6 31 right now so i have about 11 and a half hours i would prefer to be asleep by at least 10 o'clock so that's the goal let's see how much i can get done also i heard some really crazy things about this hotel and it is very well upkept like i don't know if i just have a newer room or what the case may be but this hotel is actually really nice and the price was very reasonable at the crew rate i think i play 109 so i don't want to do that every week um i would like to keep this down to a once a month kind of thing like I will sleep in the lounge if I really need to. I guess this is just the life of a commuter. I'm learning slowly day by day and just trying to figure it out and see what works best for me. But I'm very happy that I got the hotel tonight. I feel like I can be comfortable and start a fresh trip tomorrow on a good note. So, so yay. Shower, eat, work. I'll see y'all later.